We're going away for a week, starting from tomorrow, so I figured I'd make something before I go. And uh, I was doing some research last night on electroplating, which is something I'm going to need to do for a future project. So I've pulled together a couple of bits, constant current power supply, uh, voltage and amperage readout display, a couple of switches and fans and plugs and stuff. And so I figured I'd make up a little case for it and vacuum form it. Assemble it all today, and then by the time I come back from holidays, hopefully all of my parts will have arrived from eBay and AliExpress, and I'll be able to do some electroplating. So uh, I might go and start putting this together. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to have a backplate for it like this, and I'll probably have the main power board for it sitting up the top with its heat sinks like this so that's gonna be this one here probably like this or like this and then I can probably have the display in front of that because it's about the same size I might bring this up a bit further I'll have a piece that comes down here and across the front and maybe I go up 45 degrees or something to make it look fancy and I might have my plugs out the bottom there and I'll continue this down to go over the top of this so it should end up with this here and this here, something like that. And then a little fan down the bottom and switch probably down the bottom or maybe at the 45 at the front, something like that. So that's what we're aiming for. I'll make that out of wood, just the rough pattern up and see how we go. While we've got the part drying in the sun, we've done a bit of sanding and bogging, so we'll just let it dry before I do a final sand on it, ready to vacuum form. Uh, so over here we're going to stick these bits together and get them ready to go. I've got to solder a couple of connections on this one and this one, and I've got the diagram here of how this unit works, because I have had this one for a while, so I have to double check that. So I'll go ahead and solder all this together, ready to put inside the case. I've stuck it all together now, so I'm going to check to see if it's going to turn on. Keep this one separate. Should be able to plug this power here in. And turn it on. All we gotta do is just one of these till the voltage is at three volts. Cause that's what we need for our plating. I'm sitting at three now. So I'll grab my multimeter. Okay. Well, it's working by the looks of it showing 6.5 amps which is a bit much should be able to tune that down 3.1 that's pretty good so if we connect it up a load to that we should have a reading out on here of 3 amps and 3 volts I'll see if I can find something to put a load on it I've got a load resistor here we'll give that one a go there we go, that's a bit better. Yep, measuring 2.8 volts and 3.15 amps. That's pretty good. So we're drawing about 7.2 watts. Awesome. Okay, now that I know that that's all working. Oh, she's getting warm. Now that I know that that's all working, we can finish off the housing for this. We've got our parts on the deck now. I've made up the buck that we're going to form to. It's a nice shape, it's nice and smooth. 
And I've got another piece to vacuum form at the same time because it seems like a bit of a waste just to do the one little part on that whole piece. So this is for another project. If you want to have a look at how I made the vacuum former, or at least managed to get it working again, have a look at my previous YouTube videos. But other than that, we'll wait for the pump to charge up and we'll put the material in and we'll suck it down. Now we've got to cut some holes for all of our bits and pieces to try and fit in here with my handy Dremel. There we go, so we've got our part I've drilled out all the holes and cut all the slots and everything that I need to. Uh, I changed it a little bit. I'm going to go with two rubber grommets here, one for negative and one for positive. Just uh, makes it a little bit easier than working down here where this big radius is. I did put my power inlet down here though, so that's pretty good. And uh, on off switch in the center and display at the top. So it's pretty close to what I drew originally, but with a couple of modifications. So what I'm going to do is paint the inside of this now so that the outside stays glossy and then we should be able to fit everything in. Now the part's been painted, I decided to go with this horrible copper colour just because I have it here and eh, looks kind of cheap but also whatever. So I've just got to get all the bits in here now and we should be good to go. So there you go, completed unit. It's not beautiful, it's got a couple of scratches inside because the paint didn't actually dry properly. Uh, and I've probably got to trim around the outside a little bit to clean it up. I also have to label these because one of these is going to be the anode and one is going to be the cathode. But you can have a look, if we plug it into 12 volt power outlet here and turn it on, there you go. So it's at 3 volts, and uh, if I connect up these to the plating setup, it'll go to a maximum of 3 amps, which means in about 20 minutes we should be able to do quite a few little tabs for our next project. So uh, yeah, I'll have to give it a go now. It's all ready to run. Not bad for half a day's work. 